Hello everybody, welcome back to Create Craft, where today, as you can see, I have gone on ahead and upgraded the house a little bit, and I've made a second floor. Just a little bit of building off camera, you know. Alright, so today, I have a plan to make a backpack, and I... Well, the, the reason I didn't do it off camera is because there was a lot of advancements that I need to make first. So, first things first, we need andesite alloy. Which apparently, you can craft andesite like this, so that's kind of nice. Then we gotta do this, if I'm not mistaken, or did it need nuggets? Yeah, it need nuggets. So, let's first of all create some iron nuggets. And, gonna make this. And also, I'd like to thank everyone who has watched the first few episodes of this series, because. Oh my goodness, has become the most popular series on the channel. And I'd just like to thank you all for that. I, I had no idea that this small series that I came up with, just randomly, would get this popular. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and continue to give you all what you want, and make more episodes of this. And, let's first of all sleep before monsters come out. But, uh, thank you all so, so much. Alright, so now I need another few planks, so let's fart our way out here. A little bit of lag, but that is fine. So we need some more planks. Should be easy. So yeah, today's main goal is going to be making the backpack and exploring. And so this is where we start getting into the actual create mod stuff that the series is named after. Nice, we got a sapling from the first leaf. Alright, so... I also have plans for later in the series to make a... kind of windmill come off of the house here. Which, by the way, just look at how beautiful that looks. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and turn these into buttons. We need eight of them. And boom ahead and do a little bit of this, and that. Got some cogwheels, and we needed a little bit more andesite alloy. I'm going to make a few more of the nuggets here. So you're going to need actually a little bit more of this, because we need to make this millstone here to turn wool into string, and we need a cogwheel to turn into the hand crank here. Actually, no, we didn't need the cogwheel for the hand crank. But, now that we have everything, let's come up here and get this thing set up. So, since it's going to be powered later on by, well, not us, I'm going to set this down here, here, and this. This is to generate the power for this until we get to the little windmill thing working. But now we should be able to grind down our ores and get a little bit more out of them. Alright, so, let's see where did the wool go. Wool was over here. How much does this turn into? Here we go. Turns into two string, a one string. So I need to put four in there so I can actually make the backpack. So it's one, two, three, four. Alright, now, and time lapse me spinning this. See you all in a minute. Oh, actually, went very quickly, okay. So, now that we have all that, I'm gonna go ahead and snack on something quickly. Which reminds me, I actually need to look back on the footage to find out where the heck I got that golden apple. I can't remember. Alright. Need a little bit of that, and now we can make that backpack. So, leather, all that. Back. Pack. Where is it? I think a sophisticated backpack. Alright, so with this, we only have one upgrade slot right now. Which, honestly, I feel like I should get the crafting upgrade first. Craft. So that I can craft things while I'm on the go here. Two iron, an upgrade base. We need a little bit more string. I don't even think I'm going to need a time lapse this one. 
So, bada ba doom. Alright, so basically, what's gonna happen next is I'm gonna get all this string, and then we're gonna go ahead and sail out to sea. Uh, just off the back of the house, actually. Oh, that was really quick, okay. Uh, we should be sailing off back there. I should probably make like a port over there somewhere. That could be cool. Alright, so leather, iron string to make the backpack upgrade. And I need another chest. Do I have... Yes, I do. Alright. So, let's go on ahead and... I need a crafting table, which is easy enough. Now. Oh. Does this not work? No. Okay. So I need to make a normal oak wood crafting table. Well, luckily... We have oak wood over here. Past bomber chicken man. One second. All right. Which reminds me, I'm gonna need to get some bones for my uh, sword here. I'm actually gonna chop down on this quickly and hi there. Yep, there goes the sword. Take this guy out. Ouch. And actually, before we go, that reminds me, I need to. Uh, make some plank armor before we go anywhere. So let's go ahead and make this quickly. No. I need to make a crafting table, not a chest. Right, toss all those in there, and then I should be able to do this, right? It's iron, iron, and chest. Alright. Now, awesome. So now we should have a good source of just being able to store things on the go. I toss those. The, okay. Don't have enough space in here. I will probably try to add another chest to the mix here. <laughs> just slapping one there. Alright. So, do we have any bones left before we go? Da -da 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 -da. Nope. Well, looks like I'm going to have to make myself a new sword then before we go, first of all. Where is my materials and me? Where did, it, where did it go? Hello, book. Hmm. Did I trash it or something? Or am I just blind? An old dictionary abyss. I actually don't see it. Well, that could be a small issue. Didn't put it into the bag, right? No, okay. Huh. Well, okay then. I guess I'm just gonna go in and try to make some flint tools and hope it works. There isn't a way to recraft it, right? Materials and me. So I need a pattern and a book. Alright. Just doing one more double check to make sure I didn't miss it. Yeah, okay. So one pattern. Wait. What is that there? Hmm. Oh, it was supposed to go there. Okay. So we have leather. We don't have sugar cane, so that actually... Oh, wait, no, but we do have paper. Alright, well... I guess I'll have to remake the Materials in Me book. Because I don't know where the other one went. So tier 1 Materials. That's not Flint. Alright, Jagged. That's fine. So we can make a... Jagged... One of those. If I had any bones left, I'd go ahead and do that. Hand. Hmm. Okay, so... Actually, let's see if I can get any bones before moving on. Hello? Anything with bones want to come out here and say hi? I'm surprised nothing here actually has bones. Excuse me, Mr. Slime. Hmm. 
not sure what exactly drops bones other than, well, skeletons. I feel like s zombies should drop bones. Let me... Bone... Is there an easy way to craft them? The skelecanth. Or I can get a necrotic bone. So those guys, those guys, those guys, those guys. Okay, so a lot of things do drop them. Alright. Looks like we're on the hunt then. Alright. Where'd those guys go? Because they're normally all around here. Alright. There's a few over there. I can deal with those easy. Alright, you go down right now. Right now. Alright. Oh, ow. Alright, get out of here. I don't need the scrap. I need bones. Give me. Give me your bones. Nope. Alright. What are you? You don't drop bones. You do. Get dead. Please. I need a new weapon. Oh, hi there. Alright. Nothing seems to want to give me their bones. So I'm just going to wait until night time. And hope for a something that drops bones. What do we have over here? We have this guy. Does this guy sell bones? No, he sells banners for coins. Hmm. Oh wait, more of these guys. Alright, awesome. Not awesome on the wizard guys. Oh wait, maybe awesome on the wizard guys. Thank you for the assistance. And now they're back to being annoying. Actually, maybe I can get them to hit that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. That did make... Ow. Okay. Maybe I should have made that plank armor quicker. This is going to kill me. I'm calling it. These guys are going to kill me. Alright. I'm going to get inside quickly. Oh, wait. Can I put this on? Oh, nice. Alright. So. Let me close the door, right? Yeah. Uh, hi there. Where did I put those wooden planks? There we go. Alright. So let's go ahead and make some basic armor so that we don't just straight up die to everything. I feel like this would be really not good to wear in the nether. Just taking a random guess. Alright. With that, we are kitted out. Awesome. Alright, so let's dump all of that in there. And what does this thing have? This has knockback. I'm going to use this for the time being. Until I can get some bones, actually, from these guys. Your bones. And, alright. Carved rune of space. Well, I guess thank you for that. I have rune of direction. So, once we get a few more of just those basic runes, we could make a portal. Alright, and I'm going to start cooking some of this beef. Just going to pull that out of there. I'm going to need some more coal as well. Alright. Time to be brave and go and fight things that drop bones. Come on. There's got to be a skeleton somewhere around here, right? There's creepers. Hi there. Yep. You know what? Awesome. What? Creeper spores. Alright. That's right. I need to use the better functioning sword. Alright. So where is skeletons? They should be around. That looks skeleton in nature. Let's try to beat it. Alright, you. Not you. You need to die first. Because you are going to be the one who kills me in the first place. Whoa, hi there. What are you? I don't know why that scared me so much. You need to get out of here. I am not a fan of bugs. Get out. Get out. Get out. Alright. 
All right. You give me your bones, please. You're clearly made of them, so please give me. Uh, all right. Nice, I got some bones. I saw some skeletons over here. Hope that they don't kill me before I kill them. Oh, this ain't good. Not at all. Alright, retreat. Retreat, retreat, retreat. <laughs> that was a lot of nope from me. Sorry, piggy. Alright. These guys look a lot less defended. I'd like your bones, please. Thank you. And that zombie... And that skeleton does not fill me with hope. I need to get back home. So I can make this weapon. Alright. I'm gonna go around. Please don't shoot me. Alright, looks like I'm home free. And sleep, sleep, sleep. Yes! Alright. So now that we have all of our stuff set up, let's go on ahead and make a bone boosted flint weapon. With probably some leather. Actually. Now nah, let's use some wood. I know I've got some left, right? Somewhere. Yeah. Alright, so as far as we have right now, let's go on ahead and make a Flint blade, so I can go in and repair that. Uh, bone tool handle, and a wooden tool handle. And then we're going to need to make some more stuff when we get back. Alright, what can we use this for? I am actually curious. Blast proof plating? Griefer striker? Interesting. Alright, so I need that. And I'm gonna pack that into there and that there. So let's make ourselves a sword. So that's attack damage plus piercing damage. Let's see what happens when I swap this around. That's 81 and 81. Alright. Doesn't look to change a whole lot. So. I'll take the wooden handle because I think that looks better. Alright. How good is the. This one had 99. This one has a little bit less damage, but that should be fine. It's gonna deposit our old friend in there. And grab a little bit more wood to make a, a boat. So that we can actually get moving across the sea here. Do I have any more wood? No. Alright. One last trip outside. Excuse me, everybody. Is there still a zombie out here? No. Alright. Oh, but you're still here. Please go away. Thank you. Ooh, bow. Haha. -ha. Alright. You do not look friendly. So you can stay over there. And I'm just going to yoink that. Oh. Our first boss of the series that I'm going to dodge. That is the King Charger boss. Which I am nowhere near ready to fight, because that thing has about as much HP as the Ender Dragon. At least from the last time I checked the mod wiki. So, I should probably keep the bow on me. That probably would not be the bad plan here. Keep the bow, some arrows... Be ready for an assault. And... I'm going to make myself an iron pickaxe before we go. In case we run into anything cool. Put the iron. I don't have enough iron. Yes, I do. Alright. So let's go on ahead and do a little bit of that. Get some of this. Make an iron pick for when we run across something cool in the wild. And gonna, that's right, I was going to make a boat. Alright, so now we have a boat and our iron pick. Okay, so let's go on ahead and fly out into the wild. 
There's something right outside the house. Yep, magic man. I should probably grab some food before leaving, actually. So that's eight steaks. Um, got three mutton, got all the bread. I should probably pack all this away in the bag. Alright, so... I'm gonna put away that. That's cool, I can just right-click it into the inventory. Alright, so materials on me, I'm not gonna lose it again. Wait. Oh, it was right there, I'm just blind. Okay. Well, anywho, now that I've found it, that, that doesn't really change a whole lot. I'm gonna... I'm gonna burn some of these stairs for now. Until we can get a good coal source. And while those are cooking, I should probably make some sharpening kits for the road. I need some wood and sticks. Where did I put the sticks? And we're probably going to need to go ahead and actually make a sorting system at some point. And make a few more of these. Alright. So that should be everything there. Grab those and dump that in there. And bada boom, bada boom. Repair kit. All of the repair kits. And then I'm gonna head and dump that in. Awesome. And I think I'm fine with leaving that little amount of mutton in there. Let's go ahead and promptly toss all that in. And let's get on the road. <laughs> After I have a little bit of a snack. And I say road, it's more of the river. Alright, let's hope that that chicken isn't here to kill me. Alright, looks like we're home free. What are you? It's another one of those assassin dudes. It's one of those up there. Alright. I guess let's uh, see what I can see, see, see out here. Alright. I kind of hope we find something really cool across the ocean here. Or just a straight-up ocean monument, it looks like. Yeah, that looks dangerous. I should probably steer away from that right now. Please don't hit me with the mining fatigue. Please don't do that. Alright. So let's just uh, dodge that completely for now. Until I have some sort of way to breathe underwater. I can't eat while I'm in a boat. Okay. So let's just uh, time lapse until I find something cool. Ready, set, go. Alrighty, everybody. We're taking a slight detour. I found something. That's another ocean monument. There's something over here that I see down there. Looks like a ruined portal. Oh, it just hit me. Hello? Oh! The bubble columns down there. Alright, so where was that? Where's that portal that I found? I was literally just looking at it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's a whale! Alright, I need to find that portal. Or maybe I'll just come back to that because that is actually going to be really hard to find now that I... Actually, let's see if I can see it like this. There's something down there for sure. Alright. Looks like it's time for a deep dive. What are you doing? Oh, wait! Hold on, that's actually really good. You, sir. Sir, person. Hey. How's it going? I am here to give you food. Please give me your worn book. Yes! Alright, this is how the journey begins. As the uh, achievement says. Alright. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, boat, let me back on. Alright. So now we need to be quick and we need to get down there. And. Uh, you know what? Did I bring anything to place? Uh, no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make an air pocket down here. Because what that is down there isn't a ruined portal. Oh wait. There's already an air pocket down here. Don't mind if I do. 
while that is loud. Alright, well basically we need to mine up the stone ASAP. Because the stone is what lets us get to the other worlds. Alright, now that the uh, air pocket has collapsed, let's take our last little breaths of air and try to make an air pocket nearby manually. Uh, oh, hi there. You're not nice. Alright. I need to swim up here quickly before I drown. Right, you are still following me. Can you please not? Preferably. Please die. Thank you. In advance. Alright. So I think we need... Somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 of the rock. So let's come down here and try our best to get some more. So as of right now, there is still air pockets. Very loud air pockets, but they're air pockets. So let's try to dig up some of this stone, like right here. Alright. Let me into the air pocket, please. Alright. Good, 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 good. So what this is going to let us do, everybody, is this is going to let us actually get into all of the different dimensions that are part of Advent of Ascension. Alright. Whoa. Alright. I'd like to breathe, please. This is not good. Alright. Whew. Okay. Those are really loud. Alright. We should be getting enough here soon. The rest should be floating to the surface. Oh no. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Alright. <sighs> okay. Uh, that was not very needed right then, game. Thank you. <laughs> There's a drowned coming right for me. Oh, what are you? I don't like that. Uh, let's get up to the surface here before I drown. Alright. What the heck was that? Is it still down there? Hi there, whale. Uh, our block should still be floating up. Yeah, right here. So we have 15 right now. Alright, make that about... 16 right there. Alrighty. So let's nab this one. Let's go ahead and see what this thing is. You're not aggressive, right? Yep, you're aggressive. You're aggressive. Very aggressive. Right, back up to the surface. Back up to the surface. And ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm going to need something. How do I deal with that? Floating underwater creature. First things first is I'm going to need some food. Oh wait, I already have uh, the bread on me. Alright. So, one thing's first. We need to put this in there. And... I'm going to go ahead and put the rotten flesh and infernum in there. Alright, is this thing coming up to kill me? No, so let's dive in. Where is it? Where did it go? You're right there. Okay. Wherever you are, I will win. It's like a lobster. Or something. I don't know. It needs to die. All right. Is that... What the heck are you? Alright, I need to get out of here very quickly before I drown again. Preferably. Alright. <sighs> okay. I'm going to try to get to that 20 mark that I need. So let's come down and get those last few pieces. At least if I'm not mistaken, it's 20. If I am mistaken, then I may have to come back here off camera and just do a little bit of mining, as they say. Alright. Regenerate my oxygen supply. 
Actually, I could just dig from in here. Huh. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Oh, because that would happen. That's right. Physics exists. Ah, there was another one of those coming up on me. Alright, well, I got to 20. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, so that worn book should actually tell me how much I need. Let me, uh... No. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Tell me. Crypt Traveler. There we go. Journal. Ah, what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, I dropped the book. No. Oh, no. Okay. Uh. Crud biscuits. Okay, that is really not good. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna use this one teleport for this episode here. Because that is a really, really bad predicament. Let's TP back here. Back to the boat. Please tell me the book is somewhere here. Well, there is one way to get the boat, uh, the book back. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's another stone. All right, sir, I'm going to need to give you another piece of food. Thank you. This one is going directly into there. All right, and with that... Oh, there's the book. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have two now, then. I need to not press Q when I get scared. Let's put that on, and I guess let's uh, continue our adventure. Time lapse until something cool happens. Ready, go. Coming back in. Seems like we have found a glacier. Which seems pretty cool. We got some whales over here. I think that was the whale. I hope that was the whale. I am not equipped to fight anything right now. Ooh. It looks beautiful. Oh, and also, for those wondering, this right here, the Blank Realm Stone, is actually what's used to go and be the key for all of those different dimensions that I was talking about. And you get it by uh, opening the book, and you can get another one by opening the book again, if you don't have one in your inventory already. And if I was to right-click with it in my hand, it'd let me know uh, how to get to each dimension. Which... We may just get to do maybe next episode, depending on how lucky we get. Actually, wait, no. We need the uh, Runestone of Power still, which requires a Eye of Ender. So, it's going to be a little bit now that I'm thinking about that. But, I'm still on the move here, so once I find something cool, I'll be back with you guys. See you in a minute. Coming back in, you guys. Here we have a beached shipwreck, it looks like. So I'm going to uh, pick up my boat here. And try to get up there, because that looks like it's going to be a really interesting little find. Who knows, maybe we can actually get a functioning buried treasure map. Alright, so let's get up here. Hmm? What is this? Frozen quartz? Well, don't mind if I do. What can I use this for? I can make nether quartz. Wait, I can use that to sharpen my sword. Awesome. Alright, ouch. So let's get up here. And see what we actually have in store for us. Alright. Let's go ahead and chop this down to get in. What do we got? But ton of rope, got some leather items, and some carrots, it looks like. So some cabbage and a suspicious stew. I'd love to know what suspicious stew that is. If you guys know, go ahead and leave me a comment, because uh, I have no clue on what any of the suspicious stew actually does. Alright, I don't think there's a second chest in this shipwreck, is there? Hmm. Alright, well. Oh, and for those wondering, this is what it looks like with those, uh, 
the realm stones. So there is another one. We need to uh, throw a blank realm stone while submerged in lava. So we can do that. It'd be a really easy nether portal. Uh, there's a lot of them. With one of each overworld sapling. Kill a husk with a blank realm stone. Mine an ore block at bedrock. Take, yeah, take a fall of at least 26 blocks. Uh, summon a wither in the nether to get the abyss one. Which one is this? Survive a hit from a creeper while TNT is about to explode next to you. Oddly specific, but hey, I can do that. Let's go on ahead and hop back into the ocean. And I guess continue on our way, so... Unless I find something cool, speed up time once again. Okay, that was too perfectly timed. Thank you, Whoopi Cushion. Right. I guess it was saying you're welcome. Come on, dig this up. Alright, I got diamonds. That's good. Ow. 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 Alright. So what all did I get from that? Uncommon blueprints. Diamonds. Gold. Emeralds. A carved rune of direction again. I think there is a second chest on the ship. Let me get all the way down here. Yeah, it should be right here. So please dig quickly so I can actually get out of here without dying. All right, awesome. I got something new. Let's get out of here. All right. Whew, okay. And with that, we shall continue on our way. I'm not sure exactly how many blocks have gone, but it has been a while since I've seen any sort of actual land. And you've got all this ice. It's been all around. There's also been a few, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the ocean monuments. There we go. That's what they're called. Um, yeah, that. That's basically been it. So, uh, back to the time lapse until I find, again, something cool. Or possibly land. Welcome everybody back to more ice. I don't know why, but apparently now we just are in an ice world. Let's go ahead and jump past the sea lions here and not deal with those stupid snow chargers over there. But I'm not sure how we ended up with just ice world other than our area back at home, but apparently we did. And there's, yep, nice charger. Please get away, get away, get away, get away. All of you, please go. Alright. Now that those are taken care of, let's just continue to try to find our way. I'm going to and stuff the bag full of items. Probably be good to equip those new armor pieces. Bamboo. So as soon as thorns that one is unbreaking. We're good either way. Alright, emeralds. Did that whale just... Okay, I, I think I just saw a whale just die on the side of the screen. I think it jumped out of the water and went splat. But, uh... Alright, I think that's everything, right? Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Guess let's go over and see what the whale dropped in. Oh, that's an orca. Hi there. You don't want to kill me, right? Right? You don't want to kill me. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm still going this way, though. Alright, so... That's another obstacle I have to be careful of. But look, beautiful lights. Alright, I think we've actually just passed... the ice ocean area. So, once again, I will be back with you all when something cool happens. Alright, so... Hasn't been too long. I'm gonna go ahead and park up over here. And there's a sunken nether portal right here. That uh, I will go ahead and yoink everything from. So first things first. Is to get some air. And apparently release some air. Let's go ahead and just dig up the chest for speed. I got multiple flint and steels. Where's the gold block on this one? Also, fun fact for everyone, if you shift on top of a uh, magma block, you will not actually take damage. Hi there. In fact, you know what, I'm actually going to take a few of these for when I need to get deep into a cave. What was that? Whatever it is, I need to get some air, please. Alright. I think it was below one of the corners on this one. Where is it? A magma block there. Uh, where? Huh. Well, I can't find the one here, so I'm going to guess that there isn't one. So let's get out of here. Before any more craziness happens. And I guess I will see you all when I hopefully find land. See you all in a minute. Everybody, we have arrived at a new biome that isn't water. Yes. What is this? This is the snowy rock black beach. Oh. Don't want to die too soon. Let's get moving. It's such a beautiful hill. All right, there's another reaper dude over there. Lots of ghosts that want to kill me. Creepers and strays. Yep, this is very nice. All right. Ooh, an igloo. I can use this. And just for everybody's reference, what may have been a few minutes for you guys, I went over 6,000 blocks. Alright, let me in here, let me in here. Defend the hold. Alright. Is this the one with the uh, secret? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to replace the carpets then. Oh boy. Oh, and also I checked my inventory while we were rocking and I found a carved rune of space apparently. I don't think I have any of those in here. Nope. Maybe I should uh, make an upgraded backpack. How do I upgrade it? Backpack. Uh, ah, so I need to use iron to get the next upgrade. Then it's gold, then diamond, and netherite. Okay. Well, no. You need to stay back. Oh, that was... Oh boy, okay. I'm gonna make a waypoint here. Ice. Is. Land. There you go. Ice is land. Right, now let's keep moving, because as cool as this icy wasteland is, there's got to be some cool structures around here, right? There's some pumpkins over there. There is bugs. Come on, there's got to be something cool. 
Ooh. We have a cool snowy forest, it looks like. Also, speaking of forests, uh, we should probably start working on a wooden uh, jetpack here soon. Because that's a thing from the uh, Iron Jetpacks mod. Oh, that was just some grass, okay. What is this place? Hello? Biome is this northern forest. This is pretty cool. Hello? Alright, that's a cave and a half right there. Got some little mushrooms over there. Anything down there? Nope. Hello? What? Oh. Little mushroom. Alright. I'm gonna pick up this ink cap just because I can. What is that biome? Oh wait, isn't this the one that we have back at home? Have I basically gone in a giant circle? Oh, I thought that was an egg. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna check out this, uh, this shipwreck here. So it looks like there may be something of use here. Alright. Chest is up there. So let's see if there's a way to get up there easily. I'm not gonna be needing netherrack for a little while. Let's head up here. Alright. Another buried treasure map. Let's see if I can actually find this one. Oh, okay. So it is over there somewhere then. I'm gonna go ahead and get some wood in case I need that on my travels. Oh, and there's a jellyfish in the water, so I should probably be careful. And also because uh, some people were curious and didn't know a whole bunch about the mods that I'm using, those numbers and symbols that are on the top of my screen are basically me gaining levels from Advent of Ascension. So, a little bit of knowledge there for you. So, as I'm doing more of these tasks, I'm also gaining levels that let me get like a little bit of jump boost and all that. Alright, so where is this? It looks like it's a little bit more to the side. I think I can see the spot on the map. Let's get on to the actual land here. What is that? Oh, little cave. Ooh. There's something over here. What are you? Oh, it's another one of those little towers. Ooh, but potatoes. I thought these were sponges. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up all these. Hi there, buddy. Hey, do you want some bread? There you go. He's so cute. Do you want some bread too, buddy? Alright, now it's time to look away. Yep. Alright, where was this treasure anyways? Oh, it's actually right here in front of me. Let's see here. Looks like it should be right on top of it. This pink sand looks interesting. Uh, purple sand, sorry. Can this make purple glass? How can it be smelted to make glass and purple glass? Huh. That just sounds like a uh, not working set of recipes there. But, anyways, I should probably go in and test and see which one it actually gives when I get back to base. And once I upgrade the uh, the backpack, I should be able to add a furnace to it as well, so we can cook some food on the go. Alright, anything around here? Does not seem to be... Right. So I'll have to grab out the trusty pick and look around. Why am I just now making Stone Age? Whatever. 
I can't see the treasure chest anywhere, which is unfortunate. So, it's probably got rezzed over just like the last one, so. Just gotta accept that. So, let's go ahead and try to store some stuff. Can I store any of the cobble here? How about I can store this wood? Okay, so, I think I can also store this paper, right? Yeah. Alright. And with that, I think we've got a little bit more exploring left before I gotta make the trip back home. Orange spruce sapling. Cool. Got some darker woods on the line there. And a little explosive buddy. Wait a second, I think this guy's good. Hi there. Oh uh, yeah! Trade for ink sacks. And a uh, death, apparently. Don't mind if I do. Since those are practically useless, I'm just gonna toss them out. When I get home, I'll go ahead and toss the one that's there as well. Oh, some more scrap. Alright. Uh, not really gonna need any cabbage seeds right now. Or another flint and steel. Alright. And with that, I think we're good on exploration for this episode. Next episode, I'm probably going to be working towards making a little bit more progress around the base, like making a mine shaft and all that. And I hope you all stick around for that. And thanks again for everyone who watched the first and second episodes of this series. It is the official most viewed video on my channel thus far. And I'd just like to thank you all again on all that. And I hope you all have enjoyed this one too. So I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.